Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Orv3 NWO bringing you another Call of Duty gameplay, and this time we're playing Team Deathmatch on Radiation. Uh, I actually got this game pretty much right after uh, the last game that I posted. I, I took about a three week break from Call of Duty, playing Gears of War mostly, and uh, when I jumped back into it, I was I was like totally reinvigorated. <laughs> I had a couple of really really good games there for a while, so that's uh that's where I'm getting most of these from. Um, before we get into what I want to talk about, I don't know if you guys can see this. Let me get it down here for you. Uh oh, yeah, it's the tip of my uh, tip of my mic. <laughs> uh, you see my shirt? This is awesome. Nom nom nom. Pac-Man shirt. It's pretty cool. My girlfriend just bought me for this. Bought me this, so I was pretty excited about that. <laughs> if uh, side note, if you like the video, I will teach you how to get girls that will buy you stuff. <laughs> uh, anyways, what I want to talk to you today about is anger and rage and everything that has to do with it uh it's a it's a tough subject i am you can tell most of the time on my videos i'm a super happy guy i very very rarely get mad and by the time that i do it's usually something really really bad <laughs> and i'm usually like super angry uh, at that point and i will explode that's what she said all over people that's what she said um and it's tough. What you have to do, and I think you can really relate, most people can relate to it when I talk to you in like a, a video game setting because of like rage quitting and stuff like that. When the game does something that it shouldn't do or like when you get outmatched but you know you shouldn't have, like if you know you're a decent player and then some guy noob tubes you or, you know, something, it lags out and it, it bugs you. It gets you super mad. I mean, I have broken controllers. I have broken like TV remotes. I had a TV remote that was like, probably like that thin and i just cracked it right <laughs> i was so mad uh i cracked it right in half and uh what you have to do is 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 slow down a lot of people will tell you not to take whatever you're doing so seriously uh, especially when it comes to the video game setting and they say you know you hear a lot don't take life too seriously because you'll never get out alive and that was funny the first time that I heard it in Just Friends from Ryan Reynolds. But now, it's a little annoying. <laughs> life is serious. And you shouldn't take everything so seriously, but life in general is serious. Take it serious. But the way that you can keep yourself from flipping out and going nuts on people and, and will save you a lot of stress is take life slower. Uh, more often than not, when you do get in those rage situations, when you end up doing something that you regret, it's because you you reacted quickly. Uh, you got mad, you did something. Boom. Really fast. And because of that, what, what's actually happening in that situation, is, as far as what I believe, is you're reacting off an emotion as opposed to a rational thought. Um, so take anything. Say somebody calls you stupid and you punch him in the face <laughs> uh, just instantly that is a reaction off that emotion you're probably going to get in more trouble for punching that guy in the face than it was worth uh is somebody calling you stupid really that big of a deal it's it's annoying sure uh but is there a better way to handle it probably now what you have to do or, or what i would say do you don't have to do anything i'm not gonna tell you what to do uh what i try to do now is remove myself from the situation because that's that's the best way to cool down if i'm sitting there i just got a text message it's my girlfriend actually i don't know if you guys can read that no you can't that's all blurry that was a waste of time it says i love you it's pretty cool <laughs> uh anyways what uh what you need to do remove yourself from the situation when you're right there in the moment you feel like you have to react right now and, and that's what makes it go quickly if you can get yourself out of there uh kind of a good thing a good story that happened to me i had a teacher who called me in after class we we're doing a group project and one of the students on a peer review said i didn't do the work that i was supposed to which was ridiculous i actually did most of the work for the group uh they were just trying to get a higher grade for themselves well the teacher's sitting there talking to me and she's actually being pretty calm but she has kind of a an angry temper i don't know she just comes off as angry and she's sitting there talking about how this you know did you do all your work and all this and I'm, I'm taking it as like a personal attack on my work ethic, which is something I take very seriously. So I'm getting super mad. I'm getting like that pre-fight adrenaline and my lips are like quivering and I'm like, oh, I'm ready to fight you right now. And, uh, and that's, that's not what the situation was. And I, I was 
smart enough now, being a little older, to not really say much to her right then. I just said, I said, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, whatever the answer was. And I went about my day. I went on a couple hours later, I had cooled off and I emailed her and I said, you know, this, this is, this is what I did. Here's the proof of the work that I did. And, uh, and I was straightforward. I was probably almost, I wouldn't want to say like forceful, but I was, you know, to my point, made it emphatic of what I believed. And, uh, but I wasn't ridiculous. I wasn't like you stupid moron. You know, I did my work. You're so, you know, and, and got myself into trouble or kicked out of the class. Uh, that's, that's the best way to handle it. When you react instantly, when you react on the emotion, uh, that's what gets you into trouble. A lot of people will say, you know, follow your emotions, follow your heart, things like that. In certain situations, it's true. It's a very, very fine line. Your heart isn't made for thinking. <laughs> uh, your emotions aren't rational. That's why they're emotions. You have to learn to different, different, differentiate <laughs> differentiate between the two and where you'll also come into this i'll get into this more in another video is with love and girls uh, or guys if whatever <laughs> or if you are a girl um you get that emotion you get that feeling like man i'm crazy about this girl and you ignore facts that would should tip you off that it's not a good situation uh that happens to just about all of us a uh, guy or a girl doesn't matter it happens to everybody but anyways, in, in an anger situation, same thing applies. You have to get to where you're calmed down enough that you can really sit down and say, okay, this is what's really happening. This is who's really at fault. Did I do something wrong? How can I handle this maturely? And it's even harder when you're younger. I'm not just picking on young kids because I've been there and I hate that. I, I understand where you're coming from. You hate when people say, oh, you're young, you don't understand. But it, it's tougher when you're younger because you haven't had the experience yet of of what it feels like either way. So anyways, just try and remove yourself from the situation, try and calm down, react rationally, think it through, uh, and that'll help you out a lot. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you like this kind of format of what I'm talking about, let me know so I can do more like this. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time.